Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your love relationship reading for today. Uh, this is a, um, a weekly upload. This is for you Scorpio. <clears throat> this reading, it doesn't have any timeline, no time frame. This is um, a reading which I don't want to put a due date. I'll put a special title on the video. If you're drawn to click the video, then I really hope and pray that there is a message for you here. Uh, you'll you'll able to connect an insight that will help you with your concerns and worries with regards to your love and romantic relationship dating life all right so this is for you scorps love relationship dating for scorpio please messages page of swords that's your current energy so this is not getting this is not receiving the message, the right message, the correct message. Um, it's in reverse. So it's um, page of source if it's an upright position. This is message of truth, communication of truth, conversation of clarity, honesty. It's sharp, but it's it's the truth. It's you know it's something that would possibly hurt you, but it's 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 the truth. It will set you free. It gives you clarity. Uh, but it's in reverse so you, you're receiving r lies you have doubt on a message a communication a conversation all right or this simply means that you're not getting the the, the clear message the, the honest communication that you are expecting or you want to receive from someone or there's no honesty or clarity around you at the moment currently present as you watch this video so recent past is that, um, all right, swords, swords. You've got a lot of swords here, thoughts. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They're air signs. Air signs are quick. It's quick to air signs energy. It's air. So the information travels fast. The communication is quick, travels fast. Um, so from Eight of Swords... This is not this is not making a decision this is being mentally trapped this is sometimes i see this card as a self-imposed limitation okay you limit yourself because you overthink you're unable to decide because there's so much on your mind you're trapped on your head all right you're just in your head in terms of you're overthinking so that's this is your recent past recent sorry yeah, recent past past sorry this is your past energy. So your past energy is that you're mentally trapped or someone is over someone is overthinking. Someone is someone is trapped mentally is and is unable to decide. And this is, you know, this is this is a choice, you know. This is to be mentally trapped to overthink is something that you control, but you 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 dis, you, you you decided to or this is a choice for you to make to overthink things. And um, to stay in the Eight of Swords energy. Because if you look at the picture, sorry for the long intro, you could actually take your blindfold out yourself. You don't need to, you don't need the aid of another person to do it. It's all about you being trapped mentally, all right? For some of you, it's saying the message I'm getting here is it's your fault. You've overthink, you, you use your mind, your um. There's, there's a quick, quick um, thoughts here that, you know, that, um, that I'm getting, I'm getting a message, you know, um, of a person that's, that's just, that's just overthinks and as a result of overthinking, they didn't arrive into one decision and it caused the overthinking, overreact to, to you know, to have the page of source, like, you were thinking through it, um, but you arrived into something, your thought, your decision, your message arrived into something really didn't benefit the situation because Page of Swords is in reverse. So, well, I wouldn't be surprised because the process you went through isn't the right process. You, you were... You were doing it the wrong way. You were overthinking. You were, you're just. You didn't analytically, you know, you didn't analyze this in a proper way, 
and so the outcome the present is a page of swords you weren't able to deliver <clears throat> or someone someone was not able to deliver the information the details the message properly because the background of how they thought about this information is incorrect it was it was more of blown out of proportion it was more of um, it was so simple, but they overthink, and when they reply, they message you, or someone, someone message is that it was the page of sword. It was incorrectly received, or it, it doesn't look honest, correct, in terms of logic, all right? Um, yeah, the general feel in, in, in the two cards combination is that you process this incorrectly, so the result was blown out of proportion, or... It doesn't appear to be correct logically. It doesn't appear to be honest or truthful to the other person receiving the message or the con the communication or the conversation because it was it was probably so quick or it took you so long and then you deliver it so quickly. You prepare. You you trap mentally. You prepared. Overthink. You 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 process and prepare prepare this um, um, by overthinking and then you quickly deliver you quickly release it and now and now they receive the receiving end the receiving party um, you know they they thought of the message the conversation is, is something not reliable something that isn't not honest or something is 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 incorrect the way it was processed or was delivered sorry so much thoughts um, <clears throat> It was not fair because of how it was delivered. It doesn't seem to have, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, all right? It doesn't make sense. So if it doesn't make sense to the person who's receiving it, then it's not fair. It caused unfairness, injustice. It was off balance. And now you've got the king of swords in reverse. So... So this is like, this is a message. This is king. You might, you are, there's so many swords, thoughts. You really are, you know, dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But, but it's more of a Libra because the justice card is here. All right. Um, so this is like a chain reaction. So there was a message, a conversation. It doesn't seem to be logical. Or it, does, it doesn't look like it's being honest or truthful from the receiving end. So now they reply as a king of sword and they also are telling you an incorrect message. So if someone is lying on a message, then your reply, the reply to you is also a dishonest reply. A dishonest message is, a, you know, a reply would be dishonest too. Because what you're feeding them, the input, the, 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 the feed, the information you're giving them is not right it's incorrect or it's not confident so the response you're gonna get is also dishonesty it's also wrong it's also it's not right it's not logically so both of you what what you give basically what's this saying is that what you give is what you are receiving you're getting what you are you're giving something it it's incorrect you're giving something you know and this is a king this is a page this is the king is more matured to a page so if try if you're trying to fool someone they are fooling you more all right they you can't if you're trying to fool someone or cheat or lie to someone you know it, they 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 might get back they might end up it might you know it might you might end up being fooled because this is a king and this is just a page. So don't start something you meant to end. Don't start something you... Don't start something that is not right. Okay? If you're trying to fool, to cheat, or to to manipulate someone, something, um, you might be... You might end up being manipulated. Because you can't win to a king. This is just a page. The one who's, you know, the one is, you're going to get the, you know, 
your your you will you will it's it's like the message I'm, I'm i'm getting here is like you'll bite your own tongue all right you will bite your own tongue because of what you did so be careful scorpio because you're dealing with someone of a king of sword energy if you fool them you will they will fool you back whatever you throw to them they will um they'll give it back to you all right so i felt, I felt like this is more of a warning whatever it is you're you're trying to do do it the right way do it correct first time all right it's already imbalanced the crowning energy is the justice okay nearest outcome so emotional you might cry someone will be hurt someone will be someone will cry someone will be hurt because for some of you you were testing the the water whether your your thing would work but you it, it wouldn't because you're dealing with someone mature king of sword if you strike them once they'll strike you twice so one of you will be hurt and this is your element corpse water king of cups so it, it it's most likely you who will who will be hurt on this situation or who will be disappointed or you're emotionally will be imbalanced so think about what you do think about what you say Whatever is this, you know, if this is manifesting with you, if you plan to do something, remember there's always karma. What you give is what you're going to receive. It's going to, it's not going to be now, but it always come back to you and it always twice of what you, um, you do. All right. So good luck, Scorps. You know, may this be a, you know, a warning to you. If this is not your energy, if, this, if you're not the page of swords, then you better be prepared because someone is about to message you of something cunning, something of deceitful, something that is is not is not logically correct. They they did it because they were over drinking. They overthink, they over process it and the way they deliver this, it was so quick and it turned out to be imbalance. All right. But someone is so quick to catch up that it's it's not right, it's not correct. So they'll strike you back two times of what pain or what inconsistency you gave back. And someone will be sad. Someone will be disappointed. For some of you, you will be emotional. For some of you, you might be hurt and actually cry. Okay? So thanks, Corp. See you soon again for your weekly Lava Flow. Bye.